Okay, we're going to get started here. Good evening, everybody. We're going to call the meeting of June 24th, 2021 to order. Then you take the roll call, please. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Here. Council Members Achera. Here. Donlin. Here. Fisher. Here. And Mayor Susanna. Here. Everybody, please rise for a pledge of allegiance and then please remain standing for a moment of silent prayer thereafter. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. The notice requirement for the Open Public Meeting Act for this meeting has been satisfied. A copy of the annual notice was sent to the Asbury Park Press coaster and posted in town hall and filed in the office of the municipal clerk on December 30, 2020. There are two fire exits, one to my left, which will take you out to the back parking lot and meander down the hall, and one to my right, which will take you out to the front parking lot. If you have a cell phone, now is the time to turn it off as these meetings are recorded. It interferes with the ambient noise and the recording. If you have to make a call or take a call, kindly go out into the hallway and do so out there. Before we uh, start the business, I'm going to go down the line. John, do you have any report for us tonight? Yes. Uh, very quickly, uh, i got to give Mark DeSakis and the Road Department a huge shout-out. Um, I had my um, blue recyclable barrel stolen mm -hmm. last week. Uh, Mark was, you know, quick to get another one over to the – yeah, do you believe it? I know you're looking at me like they stole the blue barrel. <laughs> Don't know how they got it on <laughs> Recyclable Day, but they took it, and uh, Mark got one replaced real quick. So, Mark, thanks a lot. He went all the way to uh, Roller Road and mm. pulled one out of the shed. And <laughs> yeah, there's a possibility that Fisher grabbed it and slid it down the street. I don't know. Awesome. Well, that's it. Good, good work by them. Yeah, thank you. Marge? Uh, nothing to report. Okay. Dave? Yes, so I wanted to give you guys an update on the uh, master plan um, revisit. Uh, I want a th uh, big thank you to Dr. Jim Stefankowitz. Uh, we received, believe it or not, over 300 student responses to our survey, which is a tremendous uh, effort on all the department heads and the teachers. This way the students get involved in the future of the township. They uh, gave us their input. We will then take this input and then incorporate that into our new master plan. So we do really want to thank the students uh, for getting involved. Uh, for those of you who still want to take the survey, you can. Uh, it's www.oceantownship.org. You'll see uh, the survey on there. I also want to let everyone know that the first public meeting uh, for the master plan revisit will be on 628, which is Monday, 730 p.m., and that is a Zoom meeting. So uh, anybody who has would like to add some public input to the master plan, now's your chance, your first chance. Okay, that's it. Great, thanks. Rob? Uh, just one uh, shout out to um, a person who will remain nameless for the time being, but we have an ordinance uh, that we're introducing tonight for uh, parking on uh, just one side of Roosevelt Avenue. That came from a resident who was concerned about the safety of uh, children, of uh, children walking, children riding bikes, and car safety on that road. So um, for those of you that are out there that have suggestions, uh, bring them up because we do listen. Uh, the police did go out there and determine that Roosevelt was not safe uh, with parking on one, both sides. And um, I don't want to steal Dave's thunder as the uh, police representative on the uh, board, but I uh, would say that it is summer and uh, please drive carefully. There are a lot of people out there riding bikes and walking, uh, especially on the weekends, so uh, be careful out there. Great. Thanks, Ron. Marty? Uh, nothing, Mr. Mayor. Okay, I just want to let folks know we're going to have another installment of one of our drive-in um, concerts on Thursday at 6.30 over at Palaya Parks. A lot of fun. If you haven't done it, come on out. We have a Bruce Springsteen cover band and Sounds of Asbury Park and the such, and we're working on having a small minor firework display, so we'll have more details on that tomorrow once we get that solidified. Uh, that's going to be a good time had by all. Dave had mentioned our master plan review is underway. Uh, we put a little short video out the other day and kind of encouraging the public and or the high school students to get involved. And as Dave said, over 300 responded to our call from the video and from our message to get out there and help it. So it was effective. And so we're really glad about that as well. Okay. So tonight, the purpose of the public portion is to solely ask questions to understand resolutions that appear on an agenda is not an occasion for a public hearing on an ordinance all questions 
not related to an item on the agenda should be asked at the conclusion of the meeting uh, in the comments portion. Uh, does anybody have anything from the public as to what's on our consent agenda? Do you have any comments as to what's just on the consent agenda or resolutions? Please come up to the microphone and state your name and address for the record. Okay, nothing on that. Seeing and hearing no one, someone please offer the minutes and the resolutions that appear on the consent agenda. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Member Zachera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. And for individual action, we have uh, Resolution 21-124, authorized renewal of a contract for the Code Red Emergency Notification Systems with Ansob at a total cost of $12,239 for a one-year period from July 2022-2021 uh, through July 21, 2022. Well, that's a tongue twister, yeah. huh? <laughs> All right. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Member Zachera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes, as long as you change those dates next uh, year. I'll see what so I can do. <laughs> try to spread them out. All right. 2125, authorize the tax clerk to issue a refund to the owner of Block 25, Lot 144, 426 Brookside Avenue, due to an overpayment of the second quarter 2021 taxes. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Member Zachera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. 21126 authorizes a tax collector to issue refunds credits to the following taxpayers who have received favorable state tax appeal judgments. Block 22, lot 83, block 22, lot 84, block 3, lot 5, and block 1.05, lot 6. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. 21127 authorize a professional service contract for a period of July 1st, 2021 through June 30, 2022 to the following. Martin J. Arbus, a firm of Arbus, Maybrook & Good, Township Attorney. Gregory Blash, the firm of Leon S. Avakian, Township Engineer. And Megan Ann Bennett, the firm of Gluck Walrath, our uh, bond counsel. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Member Zachera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. 21128 award the contract for drainage improvements at 12 Cardberry Road to Mezzercola Excavating Company at a cost not to exceed $14,800. Somebody please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Member Zachera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes, here's a good one here. Authorize the acceptance of the following grants um, for body worn camera assistance grant, $73,368 for our police department. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Member Zachera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. And 21130 authorize the purchase of a laptop computer for the new police vehicle from Elite Vehicle Solutions, state contract number 17, Fleet 00749, at a cost not to exceed $5,838. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. In the final resolution 21131, authorize the purchase of all related equipment for use in the new police vehicle from Elite Solutions, state contract number 17, Fleet 00749, at a cost not to exceed $16,064.83. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Member Zachera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. Tonight we have two ordinances for adoption. Ordinance uh, 2356. Vin, would you read the title, sure. please? A bond ordinance providing for various improvements, appropriating $200,000, authorizing the issuance of 190000 bonds or notes to finance a portion of the cost. Great. Someone please open the public hearing on ordinance 2356. I move to open uh, the public discussion on ordinance 2356. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. Anybody wishing to be heard on ordinance 2356 from the public, please come up to the microphone, state your name and address for the record. Seeing or hearing no one. Someone please close the public hearing on 2356. I move to close public hearing on ordinance 2356. Second. Second. 
Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Member Zachera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. Action, please, on Ordinance 2356. I move to adopt Ordinance 2356 and publish according to law. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Member Zachera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. It's in the books. Mm -hmm. Also for adoption 2357, Vin, would you read the title, sure. please? A bond ordinance providing for various capital improvements and for the acquisition of various capital equipment, appropriating $3,637,523 and authorizing the issuance of $2,719,840 bonds or notes to finance a portion of the cost. Great. Someone please open the public hearing on Ordinance 2357. I move to open public hearing on Ordinance 2357. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Member Zachera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Siciano. Yes. Um, anyone wishing to be heard on Ordinance 2357, please step up with a microphone and state your name and address for the record. Seeing and hearing no one, someone please close the public hearing on Ordinance 2357. I move to close public discussion on Ordinance 2357. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. Uh, action, please, on Ordinance 2357. I move to adopt Ordinance 2357 and publish according to law. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. For introduction only tonight, we have uh, th three ordinances. First one is 2358, then we read sure. the title. An ordinance amending Chapter 12 of the revised general ordinances of the Township of Ocean prohibiting parking along a portions of Roosevelt Avenue. Great. Someone please uh, introduce Ordinance 2358. I move to introduce Ordinance 2358. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes, that'll have its public hearing on uh, July 8th meeting, July 8th. Uh, also, we have 2359, then we'll read the sure. title. An ordinance amending and supplementing Chapter 2 of the revised general ordinances, adding Section 2-17. Great. Someone please introduce Ordinance 2359. I move to introduce Ordinance 2359. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. That too will have its public hearing on July 8th. And finally, Ordinance 2360, then would you read the title? An ordinance amending Ordinance 2338 entitled An Ordinance Fixing Salaries and Compensation of Certain Offices, Positions, and Employees. Great. Someone introduce Ordinance 2360. I move to introduce Ordinance 2360. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes, that too will have its public hearing on July 8th. At this time, we invite anybody from the public, if you have any public comments, now would be the time to come up to the microphone and state your name and address for the record. Please limit yourself to five minutes. Sure. I came, a few people have asked Just tap me. on that mic. I want to make sure. Okay. Name uh, and address for the record. Mike Dempsey, Two Faith Drive. A few people <coughs> have um, mentioned to me that someone proposed opening up a roller road to um, through traffic. I no. just want to know if that was a, a rumor or it's a rumor. Uh, the only thing we're going to do at Roller Road would be there's a trail back there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Possibly uh, that will con connect our bike trail. That would be it. Okay. That's so we're trying to get a bike connection from west to east, of course. I, I think that's a great we idea. We could do it, get I it mean, to sunset, and then sunset whew, right to the ocean. Great idea. I mean, I know the best bike plan that was uh, yeah. 10 years old. That's ne never been moved on. But We're uh, doing it. But that would be the only oh, use. Okay. So it's not the only use of that. So I didn't think so, but I just wanted to hear no. from you. Thank no, you. they're paving. They're no, paving they're back paving. in there, but they're not, they're not okay. connecting those two, no. Okay. I just wanted to uh, just hear from you. There'd be more than one person here if that was happening. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. I'm sure there would be. Yes, Thank you. There would be. You're welcome, Mr. Dempsey. Anybody else? Huh? This gentleman's making his way up. Come on up, sir. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Can you get up faster? Yeah. My name is Richard Ciro, 218 West Morgan Avenue. I just have a question about the curb. Yep. Did that come up yet? Or? You can bring it up. Oh, uh, I, I talked to the engineer, Greg, I think yep. that was his last name. And uh, I, I have a concern. I, I live on a lake. I know where you are, West Morgan, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm the last house on the street. And the cars come down, and they, and they make Turn a around. turn. Yep. And they come up on my sidewalk, the lawn, the whole big yep. 
you know, they find out it's a dead end. I like put up red reflectors, they just drive over, you know. Yeah. <coughs> uh, my question is, is, uh, is there a... A little closer to the mic so we can pick you up. Is, is there a... a, a I tried to get this out of the engineer, couldn't really get a, a, a good answer. <coughs> is, is from the top of the curb to the pavement, is there a minimum distance? Uh, no, there's a profile they try to maintain. It's not going to be consistent. It depends on the road and the crown well, that, and that, all. Yeah. So <laughs> it could it could vary from the front of the road to the back. So, so <coughs> you could have eight inch curb, or you could have a four inch curb. Well, mine is like an inch or less. Oh, yours has been paved over several so, times. Uh, many, many be times. Yeah, Cause yeah that, that'll be raised, though. The curb? Yeah, that's going to, next time around, they're going to probably break that out and raise it. Uh, how much would they raise it? Six inches? At, at least. At least, I think four is the minimum and that I've seen. Then you're going to have a curb up there and a sidewalk, and my yard's going to be a valley. Yeah. Well, they'll, they'll, when they come out to do that, they'll engineer it. Uh, I know, but uh, uh, what I'm trying to do is, I said, <laughs> can they mill the street out I and bring it down six inches? Mm. That's a reconstruct. I don't know. Well, I, I know. I, I said, yeah. I don't know. Uh, 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 to wait to, he, the engineer says, they'll come around a week or two before they start. Yeah, profile Well, that's too it. late. Yeah. you got to go there now and see what you're going to do. Yeah, well, they, they'll shoot, they shoot it, and then they profile it, and then they figure out how they can best do it without creating any ponding on your property or a neighbor's properties. So well, I think that's what you're afraid of, right? Well, you're gonna I'm kind of curious. Is can't they do that now? I'll, I'll ask them. Did you get a notice about paving over there? No. Okay. Well, I've been there 50 years, and I'm I'm low on a totem pole for paving, <laughs> and they've been working on it for years. Yeah. <laughs> I gave up. I figured they're never going to pave. Well, it. I'll I'll mention to them to at least profile it so we know what you're looking at. Yeah, because I would like to know. Uh, I, I can't see how they can, even if they raise it four inches. Yeah. And they raise the, will they raise the sidewalk four inches I, too? I don't oh, okay, know. I have yeah, to I'm see. Kidding. Yeah. I yeah don't. Okay. These are the questions yeah. I have. And we I'm have to be on site to really see it. Yeah. Because uh, I'm trying to get somebody over there to talk to me. Yeah. You know. Well, I can certainly, uh, let me get his. Got uh, who would you, who would you? So I have, our clerk had taken your address and your name. And we will try to have our engineering department within the next couple of weeks. They're doing paving projects now. But if he gets a break from that, maybe he can break away and just talk to you about it. Would that be Greg or just another Greg, Greg or somebody from his office. Okay. It, would it be somebody that's involved with the curves yeah, and the side? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mr. Shiro, after the meeting, just give me your phone number that we can contact. How long is the meeting going to be? As minutes. soon as you're done. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> i got a lot of things not to do. So. A ask, the, <laughs> ask the people behind you. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Anybody else? Because we want to keep Mr. Ciro waiting too long. Jack, come on up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jack's the catcher. Uh, Jack Curry, Big Crawl, please. I, I had more comments than anything else. Uh, first of all, I really appreciate the, the feedback that we got from the kids in the school because they're going to be the next Ocean Township people. They're gonna, they, they care enough now to want to be a part of what we do and live here. So I think that was very important to get that feedback. And it alerts them to the fact that they have a civic responsibility, even though they're still, still in school, to learn what's going on in the world. So that's great. Uh, and, and just a question, if I may, and no big, long discussion. Where do we stand with the deer thing? Is that still up in the air? Or? No, we're uh, gathering info from the folks that handle the non-lethal. So... We had a short Zoom meeting the other day. Margie and I were on that one. I have another one, a short one again on uh, Tuesday with uh, former Senator Ray Lesniak, who has, I think, uh, he's somebody who's going to help with the legislation of this because it's not an approved um, method in New Jersey. It still has to be approved, yeah. the non-lethal. So probably nothing's going to be done this year as far as any kind of lethal or non-lethal. So it's still a work in progress. And yep, it's going to be. It's going to take a little time. It's going to need some help from legislators and uh, folks and the such. So we're putting it together. We're pursuing it. It's going to take takes a little more time. Okay. And the last thing we have a Fourth of July coming up, and I was I was at the workshop, so I heard, hear the conversation. And it is our country. It is its birthday. I'm just glad that you're going to have something, even though it's small, minor, whatever you do, to say we're glad we're here. Mm -hmm. As 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 
members of this great country, we still, regardless of all this other stuff going on, this is the only place that I want to be. So mm. thank you. Good. Thanks, Jack. Hi, my name is Al Schwank, and I'm from uh, Hillside and Roller. Okay. And I was wondering, when are they going to start the process of working on Roller Road? Well, I guess the notice is just one out. Is that what it was, Vin? Um, what was it? The assessment letter. Assessment letter first. Yeah. yeah well that I'm was just. It was just about the ordinance. It was about the bond ordinance that we passed tonight. Yeah. So the project will be bid uh, oh, well, within well, the well, next well. coming months, and then depending on whether they get done latter latter part of this year or probably the spring of next year. I see. Uh, I have one more. I have a neighbor that um, was saying that they they had their sidewalks done on Roller Road. And uh, she was concerned about, um, I assume she got an estimate, and they're going to probably try to rip up the concrete. And is there anything that, that she can do prior to, to wave out of that? Um? So here's what happens. When they, they send you a letter first, and then they'll actually make field visits, and they'll come to visit the homes in the street and all that. Right. And you don't have to replace your sidewalk if it meets our criteria. If it's laying flat, it's not a trip hazard, and right. it looks like it's going to has a few more years in it. Yes. You're not obligated to replace any of the pads. Right. Now so I don't know who told her they're going to rip hers up. Well, we got the estimate, you know. Yeah, like that's I an option. That's an optional if you wanted to do it, want it to look nice. Like yeah, I, brand I new agree. and I, I need it done. Yeah, yeah, there's some <laughs> so but that's a big plus they offer it to everybody. They're going to offer everybody a brand new sidewalk, right? A to Z, you know, whether okay. you're a corner lot or just okay. 100 foot, 120 foot of yep. run. But you can opt out of it. Yeah, she can opt out right. if she doesn't have a trip hazard and they're not deteriorating. Right. Those the pads that are like that. Well, she could replace two pads, five pads, depends. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. And again, because I was here at the other meeting and the layout was already made. You know, like this is. Yeah. Well, they plan. Of course, the contractor wants to do every pad. Okay, very good. I <laughs> thank you. But he much. may not get that. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Anybody else? I want to thank you all for joining us, and uh, we're on Zoom. Usually 24 hours after the meeting, we're going to make a motion to adjourn. So, we'll please make adjourn. a motion. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Yes. Council Members Achara. So yes. You too. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. And Mayor Sosiano. Yes. Meeting adjourned. I, I misspoke. Yes, we're on YouTube, not Zoom. I'm sorry.